Okay, so I usually don't record the bath, but I'm going to record the bath today. Um, so I got a apron on so I don't get all wet. I'm going to get him all going here, nice and wet over here. Don't be afraid to wash the butt. If you are afraid to get in there and get that poop, get a towel. Get a towel that you use for the face and butt and you really get in there, wash that poop, okay? Yeah, I have to say that because I've had um, bathers work for me and I'd have to be like, look, you have to rebathe that dog until you understand you need to wash the butt. <laughs> um, I'm pretty picky and if uh, my client has a dog going home with poop on its butt, that's why they came here to get it washed off, so wash it off. <laughs> okay? So I'm going to do one side of the dog and then I'm going to turn around and do the other side of the dog. I'm going to help finish this uh, D-Shed shampoo on him but I'm going to continue using this shampoo. And that's a uh, watered down shampoo. So when you do the uh, face, you can hold down the ears trying to prevent water from getting in the ear. If you uh, want to take the time to put cotton balls in every dog's ear, you can do that as well. Just be conscious about where that water is going. And that's diluted shampoo because I need to finish the gallon, so don't panic over there. The rinsing should take longer than the lathering, big time. You want to make sure you get all the soap out of the coat. And if you rinse well and you do efficiently, you want to start at the top of the head, you know, come down so that you don't have to go back to the, the head again later. If you feel soap on your fingertips, keep rinsing. I'm 
over the armpit. Get those really good. Okay, so we rinsed them off. Wow, it took, that took longer than usual. I don't like taking that long on a bath, but uh, finishing up that soap uh, allowed me to use too much soap. That was eight minutes. Shoot, that's too long. Okay, so at this point, look at his eyes. He's like staring at me. At this point, <laughs> um, make sure he's tight. This is where I, this is where I do one-on-one -on -one grooming, and this is how I keep it at an hour. So here, I'm gonna let him shake and drip a minute. Let me towel dry him while he's here. Let me towel dry him here. You can squeezy dry him too, but he's an aggressive, you know. So I'm gonna uh, just less hands uh, involved. And here, I'm kind of letting him give me his paws because I know, you know, he's not might not be perfect. Let me shake. Let me shake. You want to pick up as much uh, water that you can because the blow dry will then take longer if you have it all damp and wet, dripping. And turn you around. Turn you around. Walk. Hold on. No, no, no. Go the other way. Go the other way. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Don't get mad at me. I see those looks. I see your look that you're giving me. Yes, I do. I see the look. Okay, then I hang dry every towel, and then tomorrow I take them down and get them ready for wash. This is my dryer. It's amazing. It's a $400 dryer, just about under $400, and I recommend it. It's dual motor, and I can get this dog done in about three to five minutes blow drying. So we're going to go do that, and I'll see you on the table. Mm -hmm.